In this lesson, we are going to learn about the physics of hot air balloons. Hot air balloons are the oldest successful human flight technology. Today, hot air balloons are used primarily for recreation and sporting events. There are more than 7,000 hot air balloons operating all over the world, and they are able to fly to a very high altitude. Have you ever wondered what keeps a hot air balloon flying? Hot air balloons are based on a basic scientific principle. Warmer air rises in cooler air. Essentially, hot air is lighter than cool air because it has less mass per unit volume. A cubic meter of air weighs roughly 1 kilogram. If you heat the air by 38 degrees Celsius, it weighs about 0 0.8 grams less. Therefore, each cubic meter of air contained in a hot air balloon can lift about 0 0.2 grams. To lift 500 kilograms of hot air balloon, you need about 2,000 cubic meters of hot air. The basket is where passengers ride. It is made of wicker. It protects the occupants and is lightweight and flexible. The flexibility helps. The burner is positioned above the passenger's head and produces a huge flame to heat the air in the envelope. The air is heated by burning propane. The propane is stored in compressed liquid form in lightweight cylinders. When the balloonist starts up the burner, the propane flows out in liquid form and is ignited by a pilot. The envelope is the colourful fabric bag that holds the hot air. When the air inside the envelope is heated, the balloon rises. In modern days, the envelope is constructed from long nylon gauze, reinforced with sewn-in webbing. The gauze, which extend from the base of the envelope to the crown, are made up of a number of smaller panels. Nylon works very well in balloons because it is lightweight, but it is also fairly sturdy and has a high melting temperature. The skirt, the nylon at the base of the envelope, is coated with special fire-resistant material to keep the flame from igniting the balloon. A larger balloon envelope will generally have a higher upper altitude limit than a smaller balloon. Most hot air balloon launches are made during the cooler hours of the day, at dawn or two to three hours before sunset. At these times of day, the winds are typically light, making for easier launch and landing of the balloon. The lift of the balloon is determined by the temperature difference between the inside and outside air. On a hot day, the balloon cannot be loaded as much as on a cool day because the temperature required for launch will exceed the maximum temperature 
sustainable by the nylon bag. Before the balloon is launched, the pilot should know which way the wind is blowing, so that he knows which way the balloon will go. To lift the balloon, the pilot moves a control that opens up the propane valve. This lever works just like the knobs on a gas stove. As you turn it, the flow of gas increases, so the flame grows in size. The pilot can increase the vertical speed by blasting a larger flame to heat the air more rapidly. Density is inversely proportional to temperature, so when the temperature of the air inside the balloon increases, the density of the air inside becomes less than the air outside, thus the balloon rises. To descend, the pilot allows the air to cool, and the balloon becomes heavier than air. The pilot has complete control of the up and down movements by controlling the heat in the envelope. The top of the balloon usually has a vent of some sort. The most common type of vent is a disc-shaped flap of fabric called a parachute vent. A parachute vent can be opened briefly while in flight to initiate a rapid descent. The vent is pulled completely open to collapse the balloon after landing. Heating the air in the balloon will make it rise. Releasing some of the heated air by venting will make it sink. How does it move horizontally? The atmosphere exists in layers which may be moving in different directions. So the pilot can move up and down to find a layer of air that will allow the balloon to change direction. To move in a particular direction, a pilot ascends and descends to the appropriate level and rides with the wind. Since wind speeds generally increase with altitude, Pilots can control horizontal speed by changing altitude. Hot air balloons are based on a basic scientific principle. Warmer air, less dense, rises in cooler air. More dense. A hot air balloon has three major parts. The burner, which heats the air, the balloon envelope, which holds the air, the basket, which carries the passengers.